Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today whilst I was out, I picked up a quad light vibration dampener. Um, came back, started fitting it to my bike and I thought why not make a video from scratch of how to fit the quad lock itself and also how to fit the vibration dampener. So in this video you're going to learn just exactly that, how to fit the quad lock from scratch straight out of the box and if you buy the dampener as well how to fit that one with it. So if you are looking at getting a quad lock or you have no idea what it is then hopefully this video can help you. I'll give you a quick sort of rough estimate of prices. I got mine from JNS. I'll throw up a couple of uh, images now. So the quad lock itself. And the vibration dampener. That should give you a rough sort of estimate of prices. What to spend. Um, I do advise getting it. It's a really good bit of kit, especially if you rely on your phone to, um, to get around using your Google Maps or whatever it is you use. Um, and the, the dampener as well. Definitely advise getting that. Um, long distance journeys, rattling your phone about will eventually damage your camera. Um, I think it's something to do with the image stabilisation. The vibration is basically inaccurate, so definitely a good bit of kit, um, worth getting. So with that said, we'll just get straight into it. So when you open up your, your quad lock pack, this is what you're going to get. So you can see there, you've got your uh, different types of adapters there. It's got the sizing on them. One that I use for most of 650 is, as it says there, the 25mm. Right there, first thing you're going to do is you're going to grab that. And then that is just going to slot on to your handlebars, wherever you want to put your mount. Just bear in mind that wherever you put it, it might start covering your display, so just put it somewhere sensible. So that's your first step. What you're doing is putting that little lug on there, ready to seat the next part, which is this here. And this is going to start. It comes with a little allen key. So do I. Just make sure you undo it all properly before you start trying to get it in there, otherwise you'll start losing your bolts, like I did before we did this video. Right, here we go. So that's what I'm done now. And I said there's a little nut in there, just make sure you do not lose that. With well, that, what you're going to do is place it around a little bracket you've already put on. With this, you want to direct it to where you want your phone, because later on, you will have Your bracket's sitting somewhere around there, so obviously if it's an angle, it's going to come off on a mad tangent. So it's quite important to get this where you want it first time. Also, I've done this before, so I know roughly where I want it. Once that's on, get your arm key out and bang him in. Bosh. All right, next step, get your little arm here. Make sure you don't lose this bolt. <laughs> and also notice on the arm, you've got these little notches here. And yeah, on both parts. All they're gonna do is line up with the uh, the same notches on there, essentially. So yeah, again, banging that arm. Get your little arm key out. Once you're happy, just tighten that. Easy as that. All right, your last step is the actual mount itself for the phone. And you're gonna locate that wherever you fancy it on here, depending on where you want the lever to release your phone. I have mine going there. Just bear in mind that your phone's gonna click onto these little brackets here, so just put it somewhere sensible, it's not gonna get in your way when you're trying to ride or whatever. Again, it's got the same little locker mechanism. It's got the teeth on here and little recesses on here. Once he's on, well, once you've uh, got him where you want him, do him up again. And that is a fully fitted quad lock. Obviously, for it to work properly, you need the, uh, the quad lock phone mount. I've got a S21, so you've got a specific specific phone case for each phone. I think this was about 20 quid, but I'll, uh, I'll bang a picture up on the video. Uh, yeah, to get this to work, you can see here, yeah, it's got the little recesses. As I said earlier, it's going to match up with these. What you're going to do, push it on. Give it, give it a little twist. That is all good to go. Get it off. Press that little blue switch. Twist it off. And the only drama with this, obviously if you're driving around all the time with your phone, 
has a lot of vibration, so I'd advise getting a quad lock vibration dampener, otherwise it's going to absolutely knacker the, uh, the camera in your phone. So the vibration dampener looks like this. So we'll quickly go through putting that on. What we're going to do for fitting that is just remove remove the final bracket. Get your dampener. There you go, that's got a built in screw. So you have to put your Allen key through the middle there. But once you've got that on where you want it all lined up, it's the same thing as everything else. It's got these little teeth on it. That's got the little recesses with it. All that. Bang them on, Allen key in. Tighten them up. That's it, man. You notice it's got these like little silicon pockets here. So obviously, when your phone's on, Drive it around, that's going to take the vibrations rather than your phone. And then your phone should survive. And then lastly, what you're going to do is put the bracket back on. Same again, teeth on that, recess it in there. Line them up. Allen key in. Give them a twist. And there you go. Quad lock mount with vibration dampener. Phones up, jobs are fish. Cool, well, I hope you found that video helpful, guys. And um, as always, thank you for watching. If you'd be so kind to subscribe, please do. Uh, drop a like if you found it useful. I hope you guys will catch you in the next video. Cheers, bye.